Hey guys, just a short Sunday update to let you know that MSI is going to be releasing a lot of laptops right after CS 2021 and we have seen that they are going to be releasing some interesting ones and I'm going to be talking about some leaks from notebook check and video card so stay tuned for that but I would just like to point out that uh, I've made a community post yesterday that I would really like if you guys could check out because I'm talking about CS 2021 and some news and updates that I feel you guys should know more about and of course if you're still looking for more information on these laptops make sure to check out the playlist that i have on my channel talking about them where you can learn a lot of useful things now talking about the latest leaks we've seen a notebook check like i was saying uh, they received a picture of an upcoming msi laptop featuring intel's upcoming well intel's 10980hk and an rtx 3080 mobile which i reckon might very well be an max p variant but no confirmation on that just yet now chances are you might have seen this laptop um, showcased in MSI's upcoming stream which is going to be MSIology if I remember correctly which is going to take place on January 13th and if I'm not mistaken that should be at 5 p.m central European standard time so if you're from Germany that's exactly when you're going to be uh, seeing more information well coming from MSI otherwise um let's just go and talk about it but just to, um if you're probably going to see some images right now and uh, the design of it is inspired by i don't know uh, um, ancient egypt uh, the, the babylon and stuff like that and i uh, honestly think that it reminds me a lot of assassin's creed origins but i would also like to point out that you shouldn't be buying a laptop just for uh, its design i think that you should be focusing on performance uh, on panel quality and a lot of other things that we're most probably going to be discussing at the end of this video if i uh, don't happen to forget now uh, aside from this article from Notebook Check, like I was saying, um, video cards, they also got a lot more information on the GE66 GE Rider and the GE76 Rider um, without the Dragon Texture, of course. And I personally think that they look cool, but I would not recommend uh, buying a laptop like that. Like I was saying, um, make sure you pay attention to the TGP rating of the graphics card that are going to uh, be um, in that laptop. And I have a video where I'm explaining that. That, so I'm going to be linking that but of course if you don't want to take my word for it then you can watch uh, Linus talk about that on his latest WAN show and I'm going to have a link to, uh, to that video in the community post that I mentioned in the beginning. Now talking about um, pricing these are coming from video cards and they've uh, managed to find a lot more information on a Spanish retailer's um, website. Uh, however, I would still like to point out that uh, you need to take these prices with a grain of salt. Um, you can expect that you're, you're going to be paying over there for an RTX 3060 um, Max-Q laptop about 1600 euros with a Intel 10750H, 16 gigabytes of RAM and the infamous 512 gigabytes uh, of storage that we've seen on some uh, leaked Asus tough laptops. So uh, I don't know what to say about it. I wouldn't say that they are they have necessarily the best prices, but if that fits within your budget, then I guess you're going to be happy to, to learn more about that. Now, I also um, found myself a laptop on another, um, I believe it was another Spanish website uh, with an um, RTX 3080, if I'm not mistaken, and that was about the 3.3 thousand euros. Um, and that's honestly <laughs> a, a, quite a big price to pay for a laptop. But again, if that fits within your budget, then I think you're going to be happy to um, hear about it. Obviously, do make sure you check out some reviews after you do that. Now, going back to the video cards article, they have also um, uh, shown us a lot of other laptops uh, and I think that a lot of you guys have mentioned in the comments that you're interested in buying an RTX 3070 laptop and those should technically start at 2.1 to 2.2 thousand euros which again a lot of money um, considering that the MSRPs, the leaked MSRPs that we've seen about uh, a month or two um, ago from WCCF Tech pointed that these should cost about well 13, 1400 euros or US dollars, but um, you might also know from another video that I made that all the um, bot scalpers and the ongoing human malware and of course the ongoing well and the newly started trade wars should i say uh between uh, the us and china are most likely going to affect prices and i'm not sure if they're necessarily going to affect prices worldwide but we've also seen um manufacturers just 
change prices for all of the other countries um, and some other cases before so I would not technically be incredibly surprised if that were the case. Now of course um, if you're still interested in hearing more about uh, the next generation of laptops on January 12th, Nvidia, AMD and Asus, they're all going to each have a uh, different stream and I believe they're going to start sometime at uh, 4 p.m. and they're going to and most likely at 8 p.m. and I'm obviously talking German time you can make the conversion in your um, country's time or your time zone um, and I might be rebroadcasting uh, these on YouTube and if I'm not going to be able to then I would suggest you guys uh, join us on our crowd discord server where aside from talking about tech we also just happen to review a lot of products so I would really like it if you guys could go there and if you have any other questions just post them in the comment section down below and obviously if i forgot to talk about something you're going to find answers either in the video description or if you happen to ask me in the comment section down below i take my time to answer your guys's questions so i hope this was useful and i'll hopefully see you guys in the next video bye bye